You like jazz? Me too. Hi, I'm Joe Washington, and this time on IBM TV, you're going to see how jazz, well, another kind of jazz, can help you improve software delivery. You're also going to see another side to IBM TV. It's more than just video. IBM TV is a great way to access interactive tools and related offerings that help you develop innovative IT solutions. Let's hit it. When you listen to jazz, you're listening to collaboration. One musician plays something that influences the others, they respond, and the music develops. Same sort of thing happens when you're developing software. At the Rational Software Development Conference, IBM announced that it's opening its collaborative development site, jazz.net, to customers, partners, and conference attendees. The reaction has been tremendous. The Jazz platform will be used to develop IBM Rational Team Concert Beta 1, a collaborative portal designed to improve productivity by enabling real-time collaboration for distributed development teams. The new Rational Asset Manager and other offerings were also announced as part of IBM's vision for improving visibility and collaboration in software delivery. You can learn a lot more on IBM TV. Check out keynotes from the conference and see the Related Offerings area to get more details on specific IBM Rational offerings. Another important IBM software announcement happened recently, the latest version of Informix Dynamic Server. You might get a kick out of it. In Germany, there's nothing more exciting than watching our professional teams battle each other every week. Our company, Empire, caters to soccer fans by providing sports statistics as the games are played. We selected the Informix Dynamics server because of its high availability. Our customers are demanding a 24 by 7 business and our experience showed that the Informix Dynamics server is capable of doing that. IDS is the best server because we need a system that is capable of providing high volumes of data in real time and our experience showed that IDS is able to do that. Mainframe-like continuous availability and disaster recovery. Managing massive amounts of data at top speeds. High performance with low costs. Virtually hands-free administration. These are just a few of the capabilities of the new Informix Dynamic Server, or IDS11. You can learn more about IDS11 with a webcast, a demo on high availability, and a podcast series. You can also learn more by registering for the upcoming Information on Demand Global Conference. Save $200 if you register by August 15th. Did you know there's an energy crisis going on? No, not at the gas station. In the data center. Energy efficiency around the world is a crisis. And in the data center environment, it's particularly a crisis because data centers use 15 to 30 times the energy that a normal office building uses. And the cost of that energy is going up. According to analyst firm IDC, roughly 50 cents is spent on energy for every dollar of computer hardware. Now this is expected to increase to 71 cents over the next four years. That's why IBM is redirecting $1 billion per year to improve energy efficiency in IT. It's part of IBM Project Big Green. IBM runs the world's largest commercial technology infrastructure, so they have comprehensive experience in data center design and management. And IBM is partnering with industry leaders to develop innovative solutions. What IBM was able to bring to us was really a complete look at that data center environment. They were able to bring sensors, they were able to bring in equipment and people and research technicians that really made a difference in how we approach the entire configuration of the data center and not just a piece or a part of the data center itself. We're very effectively collaborating with IBM and doing research with IBM on how we can actually bring something that will help the industry overall. Be sure to take the Data Center Energy Efficiency Self-Assessment on IBM TV. It's a great first step toward understanding your current energy usage and areas for improvement. Now, let's go from improving efficiency in the data center to improving the efficiency of your people with IBM Productivity Solutions. 
At the heart of these solutions are IBM Lotus Notes and Domino. There's already a lot of buzz building about the next release, but some of the reviews are already in. Particularly with the cross-platform ability, it will allow companies to, to free themselves of other office suites, to free themselves of other software, and really be able to move uh, as a whole into their Notes client and live there all day. It's, it's almost like the Notes client is not so much an application anymore, it's a platform. So here we're talking about direct savings straight to the bottom line. Well, bringing an existing Notes application into a composite application is just a click. We can take a, a functionality or a product and put it into a new platform, integrate it with another product. It's really open. We now have the motivation to start developing service-oriented architecture because it truly can, by building these components, be reused. And with the whole SOA initiative, we can take a, you know, a 10-year-old CRM application, even if it isn't our own, and get it out to a BlackBerry device. For us as a company, it's really exciting that it gives us a clear path now where Lotus is taking the products. Those are just a few of the reactions. There's a lot more, so watch the entire video. You can also get more details on new Lotus releases at the new Lotus Collaboration Summit online, available right here from IBM TV. In May, IBM held its first ever conference dedicated to enabling greater business flexibility through SOA, or Service Oriented Architecture. Right away, IBM Impact 2007 was a big success. the largest SOA conference in the industry. We're here at uh, IMPACT 2007, 4,200 attendees. I'm here for the uh, CICS technical tracks. I'm here to learn a little bit more about what's going on in message broker technology. We're here to really learn all there is about service-oriented architecture. More than 4,200 customers, business partners, and IBM professionals attended this defining SOA and WebSphere event. Tune in to IBM TV for Impact 2007 to view keynotes of the general sessions and customer testimonials. IBM TV is also the place to see IBM SOA solutions in action. A new series of demos shows you how IBM can help in critical areas such as business process management, enterprise service bus, and SOA governance. Last time on IBM TV, we introduced you to IBM IT governance and risk management solutions. Let me refresh your memory. Your environment evolves rapidly. Your business moves even faster. And real-time solutions that manage risk and maximize growth are critical. IT governance and risk management are essential to success today, enabling greater innovation and business value by aligning IT investments with business goals. And now you can take a closer look. We're featuring videos from IBM presentations at the recent Forrester IT forums. Experts share their insights on service management, security, and business continuity. You can also access a business continuity self-assessment to help gauge the resiliency of your business and IT operations. Well, I think that's a take. I'm Joe Washington, and I'll see you next time on IBM TV.